Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Thrux on this Daily Ramble. Today we're finally doing music again. We're finally in a different location. So we're doing Taylor Swift's album Reputation. We're doing a full album review and I just want to hit every the songs that I already reacted to. So we're just going to breeze through those then listen to the new songs. So let's just jump right in with Ready For It. I was being through this one. So I was ready for it. I guess A plus was a really good song. So the next song we're doing is Endgame. Which I've not listened to yet. Well, I, so I really like the beat. That was a decent song. I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling it, but still, I'll probably give this a C plus, B minus, just because there wasn't enough switch ups in the song musically as far as the actual people singing or rapping. Yes, they had nice switch ups, which I actually thoroughly enjoyed, and I liked their lyrics and the stuff of that nature. But the beat was just kind of flat throughout. I just didn't really like, especially that um, snare. I think it was. I really didn't enjoy that part, but everything else was really good for the song. I really liked it, but other than that, I just couldn't really get into that song. So, the next song we're going to get into is I Did Something Bad. That was amazing. I love that song. That's a really good song. That's a plus. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. The beat was on point. Everything about the song was great. I loved it. So the next song we're going to get into is Don't Blame Me. Is my baby. 
Uh, that was a decent song. I'll probably give this one a B, a strong B. Um, I just feel like I agree with some of my online friends. They were saying that um, they could have had a choir on that one, and I think that would have helped a lot with this song. But other than that, really good. But I feel like they didn't have to layer her vocals to make it sound like a choir. It just brought in one. But other than that, pretty decent song. I just feel like it could have had a touch more switch ups, but I did love the crescendo towards the middle of the song and building it up a little bit, so I did like that a little bit. So the next time we're going to jump into is Delicate. Um, that was an okay song. I'll probably give this another B just because um, I don't like the vocoder in the song or the autotune, whatever. I didn't like what they did to the voice. I just felt like that was, that was not needed at all. So that's the only thing I have a gripe about. And other than that, it was a really good song. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I just didn't like the vocoder at all. Um, the next song we're, we'll be just be going jumping over is Look What You Made Me Do because I already did a reaction for that too. And I gave that a plus. And so the next song we're going to jump into is So It Goes. Ooh. Mysterious beat. That was a good song. Um, I'll give this one a B plus. It was really good. Actually, no, I'll give it an A. It was really good. I really liked it. Uh, I like the B. I just everything about it was really good. So the next time we going jumping over is gorgeous. Where we're just going to go through this, just you know, like we did with other songs. So it's already a reaction for that too. So that was gorgeous. Um, to be honest, I don't really like it. I'll give this a C minus, almost a D. I really didn't. I thought I liked it at first, but eh, it's kind of let down. <laughs> so the next song we'll be listening to is Getaway Car. I'm going with a damn vocoder.
Okay, this had a mix of Out of the Woods for me. I've got that type of vibe from the song, and that, I mean, I, there's definitely a lot of similarities to that, but it's still a good song, so I still liked it. I'll give this one a B plus. Um, so the next song we're going to jump into is King of My Heart. Uh, I also could have done without the vocoder on the getaway car as well. Forgot to mention that. Uh, that beat was very unexpected and I very much liked it. Uh, I'll sit down like an 80s thing because uh, there was definitely 80s elements so far and the way it switched up, whoa. Stop with the vocoder! It's annoying. Uh, that was a pretty good song. I'll give this an A within A+. plus. It was for the damn vocoder because that's starting to work my nerve. It's, I don't know why. It just does. Um, but other than that, it's a really good song. I like the beat drops and the, everything about the rest of the song is really, really, really good. I really liked it. So the next song we're jumping into is Dancing With Our Hands Tied. So let's jump into it. Uh, that was a good song. I'll give this one a B plus. It was really good. Uh, definitely 80s inspired, I feel like. It was a really good song. I really liked it. I liked the high notes and the switch ups and stuff. So next song I'm gonna jump into is Dress. That's a good song. I'll give this one, um, I'll give it an A. It was pretty good. I really liked it. Um, very visual song, I will say. 
But uh, the next thing we're going to get into is this is why we can't have nice things. Oh, this is BR. You got me. This is a pretty decent song. I'll probably give this one a B plus. It's a bit of a callback to "Look What You Made Me Do." It has certain um, orchestra elements in there, and um, the only thing that kind of bothered me was like, we can't have nice things. I wish it, was, it just kind of it could have flowed a little bit better there. I don't know how, but I just feel like it could have gone a little bit better there. But that's the only thing that kind of bothered me. But other than that, it's a really good song. So the next song we're going to get into is Call It What You Want. Uh, that was a pretty good song. I will probably give that one a B plus. Um, it was actually pretty good. Um, to me, it sounds a lot, not really sonically, just kind of, I don't know, it just reminds me of style a little bit for 1989. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's not a bad thing because I actually like that song too, but it was, it was just a nice little mid-tempo song. I really enjoyed it and yeah. <laughs> So the final song we'll be doing is New Year's Day. Oh, that's a beautiful song. I would give that one a, definitely a plus. I really enjoyed it, and I usually cannot stand slow songs whatsoever. But that one was just so simple and just so great. I really enjoyed that song. So um, it was just really enjoyable. Like the message and everything else, really, really good. So that, so the album as a whole, I would give it a B, a solid B. There's some songs I could not get into, and some songs I just didn't really like at all, like Gorgeous, that's one song. 
But everything else was at least de decent. It'll probably take me a few listens to either for it to grow on me or for me to get tired of it or anything. So, so overall, it was a really good album. I really liked it. Um, except for the vocoder or the audio tune that, no, you don't need to have. So I don't know why y'all did that. But anyway. That's going to do it for this video, so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and then subscribe for more stuff, and then just comment on what you, do, what do you think of the album. Do you like it, dislike it, tell me what you think, and uh, we'll have to cut this up pretty short, so yeah, that's going to be a minute, so I'll probably I'll play later tonight, because <laughs> I got a lot of stuff going on today, but I just wanted to go ahead and knock this out, and I want y'all to have a super awesome day. Bye, everybody.